Hi there and thank you for joining me. Today in this entry level three functional skills video, we are taking a look at 2D shapes. First, we're going to figure out what that actually means. And then we're going to consider four core 2D shapes because we need to know something about their properties. So before we start having a look at some of the properties of some typical 2D shapes, let's actually examine what 2D means. The letter D stands for dimensional, and quite simply, a two-dimensional or 2D shape is any flat shape. And the page here has some examples, such as a circle, a square, a star. They are all flat shapes. Perhaps the first shape we should consider is the square, and we need to take a look at it and decide what actually makes it a square. Well, first of all, it has four sides, and the important thing about a square is that all four sides are equal. In addition, each of the corners of a square is a right angle. Now, if you're not sure about what a right angle is, Take a look at the video that I'm going to put a link to at the end of this one, which talks about right angles. And it also talks about lines of symmetry, because this is also important when we look at a square, because in fact, a square has four lines of symmetry, one going down the center, one across the middle, and two more going from corner to corner. So if we have a shape, four equal sides, four right angles, it has four lines of symmetry, therefore we know that it is indeed a square. Now let's compare that with a shape which in some ways is similar to a square. There are also one, two, three, four sides, and also the same as a square, each of the corners is a right angle. However, with a rectangle, rather than all four sides being the same, we have two sides, the top and the bottom, which are the same length, but the other two sides on the outside here, left and right, they are not the same length as the top and bottom, but they are the same length as each other. So top and bottom are the same length, the two sides are also the same length, but they are not all four the same. Now, because of this, a rectangle doesn't have four lines of symmetry the way that a square does. It has one down the center, and it has one going from side to side, but the lines across the corners are not lines of symmetry. Therefore, it only has two. The next shape we need to have a look at is the triangle. Now, there are different types of triangle and we have three examples here. Let's have a look at the small one at the top here. Well, all triangles have three sides. Now this one, one, two, three sides. In this case, all three sides are equal lengths. And that means that the three angles at the corners here are also the same. And because of this, if we're going to look at lines of symmetry, we actually find that again, there are three. There is a line of symmetry going through from the top to the bottom there, but also one going from that corner and through the opposite side, and another one from that corner and through the side again. So this three angles all the same, three lines of symmetry. Now the one on the left here, also one, two, three sides. But in this case, Sides one and two are the same, but three is a different length. It's a shorter side in this case. What this means is if we look at the angles, we find that the two angles at the bottom here are the same, but the one at the top, as you can see, is smaller. Now, because the three sides are not all the same, this shape only has one line of symmetry, which goes straight through from the top through the bottom there. Trying to go from the other corners would not work. 
Moving on to our third triangle, this is in fact different again. We do have one, two, three sides. But in this case, each side is a different length to the others. So side one is the shortest, two is a little bit longer, and three is the longest side. And the same is true of the angles. We have a small angle here, a larger one here, and this one is actually a right angle. In fact, we call this a right angled triangle. And because all three sides are a different length, there is no line of symmetry at all. And the final shape we need to know something about is the circle. A little bit unusual, all the other shapes we've talked about here have straight sides. This one has only one side and it curves all around the edge. A circle has many, many lines of symmetry because if you draw any line through the centre of the circle, that is a line of symmetry. So in summary then, a 2D shape is a flat shape. There are many of them, but here are the four that we need to learn something about. Don't forget to remember how many sides there are, which sides are equal to each other. Look out for those right angles, and it's also useful to learn the spellings of the shapes. So there we are, that gives us our core four shapes. Look at the lines of symmetry, look at the angles, and as I mentioned in the video, if you're not sure about some of the terms I use there, there is a video here that will tell you all about them. I hope you find that useful. Please hit the subscribe button as always, and keep a lookout for new videos. Thank you.